I like it. It looks good, Eric. Looks real nice. This is gonna be nice. Still have no idea if it's even gonna work, so we're gonna test fire. We will uh, see if it will talk, I guess. <laughs> it's not good. It's what I think. What are you doing? Well, there's an issue here. Hey, beans are up 18. And I thought I'd see uh, if this new pro, uh, pry bar is going to work like I'm hoping it does. Do you want to tell them what you did to the pry bar? Wasn't that when I was, I think I was just kind of curling my finger and that pry bar got in the way? <laughs> and then she bent. <laughs> No, pry bars, believe it or not, are not as strong as the ice chisels that we were using to pry mud out of the spokes. Yep. So I was driving and he was jamming the bar in and just... You wouldn't stop, I waved. If I was getting run over, I'd look like that battery charger that I did run over. <laughs> what about a battery charger? Battery charger? Uh -huh. I know. I heard about that. Maybe we could bend this back. In the cracks. No, see, I already tried that, and when the spring loaded pry bar come flying out of the press and hitting me, Doug, I said, That's it. You got a meeting in an hour, and then the day will be shot. What about the safety of the other town board members when they are walking across that slippery ice and snow? I gotta get this thing going. So, we, I don't know if they've seen this thing. We bought this this summer. When did we buy this? We bought this this summer to be used down at the Ben site for brushing chaff and wintertime brushing off slabs. And didn't you try and this at your I house, never, Doug? I never even seen you use it at the Ben site this fall. No, it was so windy and horrible that it all blew away without needing it. Look at this mouse track, Doug. That's a big mouse. <laughs> okay, let's see if this fits. <laughs> so it seems that the ice is frozen the bob patch and it isn't working like it should. That's a pretty sweet outfit, but we shouldn't probably drive on the snow before we use this thing. Yeah. He's he's sidetracked. He knows that they park over at the other slab, right? <laughs> I think so. He has no idea what he's doing uh, also. So back to the project that we started yesterday. And if you guys seen the last video, brakes were all shot on this trailer, so we are reassembling. This is our last tire to do. We're also adding these Crossfire equalizers to the tires because it's way faster, easier to pump, and also we can keep them equalized so you don't run one over pumped, under pumped. If one's leaking air, they stay equal. So we are actually adding those to this trailer. Most of our trailers have it. Um, we just kind of seem to add one trailer a year with more equalizers just because it 
they aren't super extensive but they aren't cheap either so kind of spread it out through our farming career um, tell them how fun it was to take them apart not fun at all I had the torch well I have basically every tool we own it seemed by the end as usual yeah and then nothing would come apart because it's so rusted in there yeah so if you know I don't know the word <laughs> the thing that goes inside here the little dowel that the brake sits on and pivots as you turn as you apply brakes and the S cam turns whatever not important anyways couldn't get the old ones out and the ones I did get out couldn't get the new one in without trashing it so uh, it was just a long Long process. Fertilizer filled, <laughs> rust filled <laughs> process. And, but we're putting the last tire on, so there we're is, good. like I was telling you, there's something with that brake that only I know. And if it works, it works. And when it falls apart, I didn't do that. <laughs> wow. It's safe for the road, right? It is safe for the road. Okay. Well, that's all that matters, I guess. Great. So, what I am currently doing now is we are going to hardwire. Hopefully, we're hoping that this works, otherwise we'll just be out time more or less. Um, we are going to hardwire that little motor, hopefully directly to the truck battery with this plug-in is our, is our hope. So I'm going to weld this to the trailer and I'm in the process of getting, I cut a hole. I'm going to, I got to do a little grinding here so that that notch fits in there. Drill some holes to bolt this to, weld this to the trailer. Then we'll run the wires from here to the motor and hope that that is enough current to start the engine. I like it. It looks good, Eric. Looks real nice. This is going to be nice. Alrighty. I got it all plugged in. I have not painted it yet. Still have no idea if it's even going to work. So we're going to test fire it. We got it wired to the motor. Big cable. Six gauge wire. Is this six gauge? Two gauge. There we go. That's six didn't sound right. Two gauge wire. We will uh, see if it will talk, I guess. <laughs> That's not good. That's what I figured. Uh oh. What'd you do, Richard? <laughs> so what I did figure was gonna happen is happen. The only downside to this is that the battery will always charge off the truck. Kind of like so this is the exact setup that we have on our spray trailers because we got so many pumps on our spray trailer that it will run dead. The battery will go dead. The little pumps don't charge them. So we have this setup from the truck so it charges the battery when we're driving down the road. We maybe need to weld a crank. Get, him, <laughs> get her spinning a little bit. Then you come in here. Not enough voltage. Too long of a cable. Unless there's a relay in the system that's kicking out, but it, it, it's just too long. Yeah. Disappointing. But the effort was not lost. The battle was not lost. The battle, the battle was lost. He just wants it just to, needs to charge. It just needs to charge. Just a word. <laughs> well, this ain't exactly the way I wanted to end the night. Um, but it is what it is. We are trying to avoid, I probably told you this, but trying to avoid having the battery up in here and to lift a 80 pound battery. It's a big truck battery that goes in there. Through all this is really hard and you almost lose your fingers and getting it out is even harder. So we we're trying to avoid that. But 
between the long cable, I suspected this issue from the get-go. Number two, there's relays on that because it's for the electric roll tarps. And those relays are only good for so many volts. So I think I can't take the relay out because I need it for my roll tarp. So it is what it is. We will see you guys tomorrow because we're shutting her down. So see you tomorrow. So we're back a whole nother day. Just like that. Isn't that magical? So I am working on getting some more nozzles. So these are flood nozzles for putting 28% on and we lost a bunch of them last year. They just, they're kind of heavy. We should probably take them off after we're using them. Uh, but we've lost some. So I'm going to order some off of farmchem.com. Uh, you, they've got tons of stuff, but you can go into the spray tab, you go to nozzles, nozzle bodies. We're going to look up some, see if they got it. There's nozzle bodies. I'm getting some of those too, because we lost some of those last year. So once you get into nozzles, you can filter out what you want. So these are T-Jet nozzles. So we can click that. They are a size 10 flood nozzle. Search it. And there they are, right there. Wow. So I'm going to get 10 of them because we seem to lose quite a bit of them. Add to cart. And then I'm going to get these elbows because this normally twists off and you lose the whole thing. So I get to get caps, nozzles, O-rings. We'll get all that stuff here. So now I can go to, I want white. And now you can choose what caps you want here. They got caps of all sorts. Well, I chose white so the cap will show up. Also, you can search up here so I can type in my part number, TK dash, and there they popped up. There they are. Need 10 of them. Add to cart. Just like that, I get to go and I can check out now. I've got them all figured out. There's my nozzle bodies. There's my caps. I had too many in there. And 10, 10, 10. And check out. And I'm actually even going to use my own discount code. So you guys, if you do use farmken.com ever, you can use Larson22 and you can save 5%. I'm actually going to use that myself and save myself some money. Eric. It's so cold in this shop. Now I stole your vacuum. Is that okay or were you gonna start using it now? Because I was instructed to vacuum the other tractor. Okay. Don't suck up the pennies that are on the floor. I need everyone I can get. <laughs> I'll be sure to avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to run it? So I was in this big unit this morning, Duggo, and I fixed the seat it used to lose all its air. And here there was a hose that was pinched in the seat. Fix that. The uh, joystick also was really loose. Fix that. Installed the CB radio. So we're going to level the three point now or what? Yeah. I think so. So Eric power washed the uh, 370 off today. And we put how many hours on it? About 45? Yeah. And we busted every mirror on the tractor in yeah. 45 hours. Yeah, pretty sad. This one's broke. That one's broke. That top one's broke. I didn't break the one in the cab. <laughs> I think the lower one might have survived there. Yeah, it's pretty sad, actually. So, how did that happen? You know what else is crazy? I think the rocks came off the tracks and when it was nice and cold outside. That's really sad. Well... You know, when you drive down a gravel road in the winter with your pickup and you can hear it picking up Rocks. every single piece of gravel there is. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay, we're going to finish this process of the battery situation because we need to start the engine to raise it up, do a little bit of welding on the auger. So, you ready to lift? You'll get to see what a process Did you this find the really claw? is. No. The battery no, along with the plier that I need that's missing. Everyone loses my stuff. Mm. Drop it in. That's the hardest part is getting it out. 
Oh, I have to put it in there. Ow! Cables won't reach. No. Not a chance. Well, let me know if I can do it. Uh, two. Three. Will you drop them in? I find that the dropping avoids the fingers getting cut off. So. See that bar there, the yellow one that you were leaning over? Yeah. I think that should be called the hernia bar <laughs> because when your hernia is trying to pop out due to the awkward angle, that bar keeps it in, keeps the intestinal line where it should be. So sometimes. <laughs> all righty, we've got this thing all completed. I did a little welding on the auger and this thing can leave the shop. So we're going to go on hook it now. the trailer I guess we I want to get this washed because we're actually gonna put the silver bullet on this trailer the reason during the fall time we don't use it on this trailer is uh, just not as much horsepower and this truck is definitely got a lot more horsepower but in the winter time the silver bullet rides a ton more smooth than this truck so we're gonna swap out sacrifice horsepower for ride but on frozen roads, when we do get hauling, we do want to have the, the driver to be happy <laughs> the best that we can. So we're going to wash this up and eventually get it swapped over to the other uh, semi. If you guys do want any more information about the soap that we use here, uh, it is on our website, which is always in the link in the description if you want to check it out. We seem to like it. So I just put the foam on with cold water. I've said that before. But I do, the foam sticks a lot better. But then the inconvenient part is heating the cooler up, the power washer up, cooling the power washer down. So right now I just basically wash the floor and wait for the water to get hot, hot, hot because you can really clean stuff with hot water. If you don't have a hot water pressure washer, I suggest getting one. Well, not too bad. She's all shined up and it's just about quitting time. So that works out just perfect. Really would look nice if I'd hand wash it down, but I'm not feeling it tonight. That'd be a lot. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.